Wave of violent attacks in Oakland's Chinatown has many alarmed. I'll tell you what the city says they're doing to stop them. New change for outdoor worship services in Santa Clara County. That and more coming up. If you're not aware, there's been a recent wave of violent attacks in Oakland's Chinatown. Over the weekend, Oakland PD arrested a man believed to be responsible for attacking a 91-year-old Asian man and two other victims January 31st. And just last week, a local business owner and his wife were robbed and nearly run over. I got scared when they say they're going to try to kill me, literally. They appear to be more violent for whatever reason. And that's why we need to stop this now before something even more heinous occurs. The intentional targeting of Asian merchants and residents is abhorrent. And we will do everything within our power and resources to put an end to it. Police announced Monday they've reallocated resources to beef up their presence. And the district attorney says she's created a special response unit to help stop these disturbing attacks. In other news, Santa Clara County has launched a new tiny home site outside the old San Jose City Hall. Casitas de Esperanza is said to provide emergency housing to 25 unhoused families with kids for 120 days. The families that are participating in this program are dealing with a lot of trauma of being homeless and these little houses of hope will give them the critical services that they need in order to transition into permanent housing. The county's plan is ultimately to build more permanent units for unhoused residents. Staying in Santa Clara County, indoor worship services are now being allowed again. Last Friday, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled indoor faith services can't be banned during the pandemic and allowed churches and other places of worship in California to reopen indoor services at 25% capacity. Santa Clara County, though, has only okayed 20% capacity, and face coverings and social distancing are, of course, required. Singing and chanting are not permitted. The county health officer still discourages indoor worship services despite the order. Is more rain in our future? Here's meteorologist Carrie Hull with this week's weather forecast. Hey, Abby, we've got a fairly quiet weather week ahead with just a few weak disturbances moving through to bring us more clouds to start out the week. By Thursday, we'll be watching out for a chance of some scattered showers, a break from the rain on Friday and Saturday, possibly some more widespread rain for the weekend. Our temperatures really don't change too much over the next few days, staying near normal for this time of year. You can get the full forecast on NBCBayArea.com. Thanks, Carrie. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.